Ah, hello. I didn't see you there. You know, passion can be such a beautiful thing and also tragic. My name is Brian Fernandez, and the show you're about to see is a true story. How do I know it? Because it happened to me. Brian Fernandez. So feel comfortable, and I hope you really enjoy the show.
Brian, Hi. I just wanted to introduce you to our new intern, Nikki. Hi. I never asked you if there was someone else because I didn't want to know. But now I do. <laughs> well, is there? Nikki, it's been only one month. Two? It's been two months. Listen, I came because I needed to make things honest and uh, clear to you. There's nothing else for me to say other than I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything. Bell is done. That's good. What are you doing? I, I did what you asked me to, and you said I said... That... Maybe I'll stay. Shelley, please don't do this to me. To you? What I'm doing, you did to me first. Don't touch me. And don't torture yourself more than you already are. Hmm. That was a real fucked up day, mate. I'm surprised you didn't call me sooner, Brian. You know if you ever need anything, you can always ask me. You know that. So, where's this intern Nikki gone to now? Don't know. Last I recall, she emptied her desk two days ago. And uh, Shelly, she grabbed her stuff from her place the day before. Mate, you reap as you sow. I mean, what do you expect was going to happen when you had both hands full? <sighs> so what's the plans now? Did you ever think about, I don't know, maybe taking it easy for a while, huh? We have been over this before, Mike. 
Some of us just not fit to be a family man, unlike you. <laughs> I just thought after everything that you've been through that you might want to call it quits. I mean, let's be honest, how many times you've done this shit before? Hey, what's life without some adventure? <laughs> <laughs> you always were the lucky one. But seriously, sooner or later, you've got to call it quits, Brian. That's not for me, Mike. I won't lie to you. I still enjoy it. What can I say? I have too much love to give. Love is paradise, but when you fuck around with it, it becomes something else. Believe me, I know I've been there, and I swear I'd never do it again. But with you, it's like a second job. Just tell me honestly, do you feel bad for what you did to Shelly and Nikki? Of course I feel bad, Mike. I'm still a person, all right? With some urges. I just hope the right one comes along soon. At least I know you won't be catatonic while I'm gone. Gone? Yeah, me and Jess were taking the kids out tomorrow on a trip. Look, you just take care of yourself, you hear me? Have fun. Send my regards to Jesse. Will do. Joey, one tequila. You know the one I like? Sure thing, Brian. Hi, darling. What'll it be? I need something strong. How about that? Hey, you. Excuse me, what are you drinking, then? Yeah, tequila. That's it. Sometimes my mind just goes blank. I'll have one of those. Coming right up. It just slipped my mind. Yeah, it happens. Just numb to the bone. Lots of decision-making today. Decisions, decisions. Next thing you know, I come in here, another decision to make. Decisions? You are a manager? A consultant, actually. My last client was in the outskirts, but now I have a new big fish in the city. I had to make tough decisions today, and some didn't pan out the way I wanted. Yeah, you are not alone. We all know how that feels. And we just gotta live with it. Make do. Sucks, doesn't it? You know, if I was in your shoes, and my day was overwhelming, I will call in sick the next day, go for a drive, get my mind out of it. Yeah, maybe. It does sound right. You know what? I think I would do exactly that tomorrow. You just made another decision. I did, didn't I? How about that? Not to pry or anything, but you look as if though you have something on your mind as well. Oh, do I? I've seen it a lot, mostly myself in the mirror, but I know it when I see it. Do you want to talk about it? I know it helps, especially what it just did for me. Maybe some other time. I have to go now. Good talk, though. Maybe I'll see you here next time. Absolutely. And enjoy your day off. I will, thanks. Nikki. You said there was no one. You, you lied. You fucking lied to me, you asshole. I didn't give you an answer, Nikki. You can't make assumptions. Have you been following me? You're saying I have no right to the truth, is that it? I made it clear to you the other day. You knew what you were getting into it. You must have known it. It was just a, a thrill. It was nothing real.
Morning, Jasmine. Morning, Brian. Sorry, but McLean just came by to see you. Already? Even before I had my coffee? What a criminal. Yeah, well, apparently he thinks Lenny is the, uh, criminal. Which is why he's asked me to remind you about that thing with Lenny. I know, I know. I'll see him in a minute. Are you really going to, you know? It's McLean's order. What choice do I have? I can't believe you're saying this. We're friends. Brian, I mean, come on. Is this really happening? Afraid so, Lenny. The word is final. There's no way around this. Jasmine says that you'll be getting the letter sometime today. The only good news is they don't know you pocketed the money. They just know there's a slight difference between the numbers on their files and yours. Which means I'm out only because it's my name on the report. This is bullshit. You know, if they found out about me, you think they can dig a little deeper and know about you as well? As long as no one check backs a few more year, I'll be fine. So, was it true? What is? That you really pocketed the money. You know me better than anyone, Brian. Why, Lenny? Why? Christ, Lenny. You said that you were given up from the poker machines. A, a few... a few lousy months. Ever since Rachel left me. So you are looking at hitting the jackpot now? I just wanted to get my mind off of her, okay? How much do you owe? Tell me now, and I will... and I will take care of it. You would do that for me? Put all these things behind you. Put your ex-wife behind you. Just do it for yourself, please. You got it. You got it. All right, yeah. Thanks, Brian. You're the best. Shit, sorry, I didn't. Hey, it's you. Yeah, so, so sorry about that. No, no, it's all, it's all right. I'll get that. Don't worry about it. Are you sure? It is my fault. No, no, no. I come here a lot. No worries. And how are you? I didn't realize you work around here. I'm just two blocks away. Remember I said I had a new client in the city? Well, I've been here for two weeks and today I just felt like eating at some place new. Smart choice. Do you want to share a table? I think it's about time I know your name. Brian. Monica. Pleased to meet you. That's a noble thing you did for your friend, Brian. I'm sure Lenny won't forget it. I always believe we should be there for our friends. Don't you think? Who could argue with that? So what time do you have to be back at the office? Soon. Though you tell you the truth, I'm still strung up from this morning. It was overwhelming to fire a colleague. I'm relieved I got a lot of work done earlier. That's actually why I get out of the office for once. In fact, I might just take it easy for the rest of the day. Then let's both call it a day. You wanna go for a ride? You like beaches? I have a great spot, a great view. It's my private getaway. That's where I always go to clear my mind. Well, I don't know. It's all so sudden. Then let me ask you, do you want to go back to the office? No. Not me either. Well, I guess that makes two of us. What is it? Nothing. It just reminded me of something. Want to go and grab some food? Yeah, I'm a little bit hungry. Is it yours? 
Yeah, I just bought it last year. You are the second person to see it. You have another place out here, all to yourself. This is amazing. It's only special when I have someone to join me. It's been a while since I've done anything like this. You have a way of convincing people, don't you? Hey, if it suits both of us, why not seize the moment? Life is short. But this good thing is supposed to be a once-off, isn't it? I speak from experience. I wouldn't say that. It depends on both people, you know? If there's openness and willingness, there can be all sorts of possibilities. And I speak from experience too. I bet you've had a lot. One of your naughty little habits. Well, I call it reliving the moment to feel alive. It's one of a kind. I mean, don't you have a cherished moment you would like to experience again? Mine would be a cherished time. My childhood. Feeling young and free. Time with family. You never forget it. You want to know the hard truth? You can never get enough of it. I feel as though I already know you. Well, there's still more to me. So is this what you do to all the girls you bring here? Well, I should say, to be fair, I'm not looking for anything serious. Well, I guess this much. We all have our little retreats, don't we? Well, I wouldn't carry on if you don't want to. Thanks, Jasmine. Oh, um, Clemens called. Said he can only do this Thursday or the following month. Oh. That guy really knows how to get things done his way. <laughs> I'd say he's quite... manipulative. Hmm. Maybe he should be doing our annual reports. All right. No other choice but make it Thursday then. Brian here. Excuse me, Mr. Brian. There's a lady down here who wants to see you. Oh, really? Sure. Let her up and thanks. Answers. I've explained myself to you. You just need to listen and accept the truth. Oh, the truth. Oh, yeah. I've accepted the truth. The truth that you're a backstabbing, lying piece of shit! Let go of me, you fucking. And I'm telling you, it was real harassment. And those photos, they were invasion of my privacy. I didn't think she was capable of doing that. Oh, you'd be surprised when a woman's on edge. You must have been one hell of a boss to her. Well, I can tell you that uh, you've got nothing to worry about since we've got her on camera. You could use this to file a restraining order. Though they'll probably want to see those photos to justify it. 
Ah, no, 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 not for the moment. But I will settle this on my own. Well, it's up to you, Brian. But if she bugs you again, you better be more prepared, all right? Look, no offense, Brian, but it had to happen sooner or later. Tell me about it. I never thought she was capable of going that far. They never forget, mate. Believe me, they never forget. Have you uh, heard from Shelley yet? No, of course not. Why should I hear from Shelley? She is gone, Mike. All right, it was, look, it was just a thought. So, are you gonna, like, report this mess? No, not for the moment. I just can't help but feel that the police might take her side. But I still need some help. Someone to keep a watch on Nikki. Mm, that bad, huh? Can you help me, Mike, please? All right. Look, I know a private investigator. I'll uh, get him to be in touch with you. You just tell him all the details. I really appreciate it, Mike. Daddy, hurry up! Look, uh, I'll be right there, sweetheart. Brian, look, I've got to go, mate. The kids have been waiting in line for an hour, and I promised to go in with them. OK, I'll let you go now. We'll see you later. You're late, so I fed him for you. Shelly, how? How did you? I still have your spare set, remember? I hope it's okay me showing up like this. No, no, not at all. You, you came alone. I'm quite surprised. Of course I did. Why wouldn't I? Well, I was convinced that if I ever see you again, you showed up with some two big guys to beat the shit out of me. No, I think I could do that myself. Are you going to? No. You've suffered enough already. You have no idea. I thought you were gone for good. This might sound crazy, but... I was getting ready for work the other day and I realised I hadn't even taken it off. We're still wearing it even on the day that I left this house. That was when I realised I still give a shit about your worthless ass. And it's gotten even more worthless without you. Shelley, I'm sorry for everything. I guess that'll do. You're forgiven. I'm really glad you came back. Me too. I wanted to continue right where we left off. In fact, you can have every part of me right now. That was a good bit. You called? Yeah, please don't kill me. I managed to finish this as well. <laughs> Seems I'll be staying late tonight. Afraid so. I need to show this to Macklin first thing tomorrow. You seem energised. Any faster and you'll have to get someone else to do it. I'm sure you'll manage, Jasmine.
you had it parked in your parking spot, this might not have happened. It is too narrow. Do you realize how many levels and humps do I have to go over to get up there? I'd wear all my tires in a month. Yeah, but at least our cameras would have caught her in the act. I've parked in the same spot for years. Never had an issue. Well, it only needs to happen just once, Brian. But so anyway, I tried to explain to these kids that it's a good thing to apologise, but what she ended up doing was apologising while she was hitting the cushion over his head and he just sat there taking it. I swear the whole class just lost it then. Sometimes I wonder if I'm teaching them or if they're teaching me. Shelley, sorry, I've got something to tell you. Some trouble you ran into today? Yeah, you can say that. My lobo caught fire today, blew wet up with smoke. What happened? Did you take it for one too many spins? Nikki did it. She's been holding that grudge on me ever since that day. Did you see her do it? No, but I've no doubt it was her. Why then, how did you get here? Took an Uber. Anyway, I'm taking in a restraining order against her sometime tomorrow. You think that's all it'll take? Maybe you should use your gun. I'll consider it. Morning, Jasmine. Morning, Brian. It's McLean. He said he wants to see you in his office right away. In his words, fucking urgently. Yesterday morning, I received an anonymous email. That's very startling and uh, very sensitive details about you, Brian. Some of your past reports. An anonymous email. Do you know who? Who is unimportant, isn't it? See, first I thought it was a joke or spam, but then, of course, a joke or spam wouldn't include accurate figures now, would it? So I had my assistant pull out some of the archives, just to be on the safe side. Took the whole of yesterday. But it all turned out to be true. So what did you find? Well, without getting into specifics, I figure a few key words here will be more than enough to shed some light. All right, exactly what? I'm talking about irregularities. Numbers that don't balance. Numbers that go back several years on more than one occasion. Yeah, there you go. You know exactly what I mean, don't you? Now, an anomaly led us to find out about Lenny, but I had no idea that you yourself had some hand in it. That email spelled it all out. Did you consider that there's a chance that this could be... Something Before possible? you continue to say whatever it is you want to say, I'll think very, very carefully. McLean, you know I've done a real good job here. You know me well. Didn't this mean anything to you? It did, actually. That's why I said nothing when you were busy getting under the intern's skirt. And why I'm giving you two choices now. So you can either get out of this building, and we'll leave this be. Or, I can turn you in myself. The choice is yours. I'm real sorry about this, Brian. Lenny! Brian! I'm sorry, OK? I, I had to do it. I had no choice. What are you talking about? Did you know what just happened to me? McLean told me to clear my shit out within a week. Fucks! She's done it already! Who are you talking about? Is it Nikki? Yeah, 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 Nikki. I'm sorry, but you know... She said she knew everything about me. You know, she was gonna go straight to the cops. I told her about all the stuff you did. You know, the numbers, all of that bullshit. It's the only way I could be safe. In exchange of what? Played the rest of the amount of money I owed. But Lenny, I paid your money the last time, didn't I? Son of a bitch, it was more than that. You didn't give me the actual amount, did you? Brian, I couldn't. You know, I, I, I was ashamed, you know, and I didn't want to push you any further. I, I, I wanted to settle what was left on my own, you know, and, and she came along and she offered to pay. The... Anyway, the point is, leave town, this isn't fucking over. I can't, I'm back with Shelley already. 
I can't lose her again. She will think I'm crazy. Just fucking forget about her. Leave town. Get the fuck out of here. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm sorry I had to do this. Goodbye, Brian. Wait. The number you are trying to reach is currently unavailable. Please try again later. Nikki! Did you really think you could do whatever you wanted and just shut me out? What do you want, Nikki? Just tell me now, what is it? You'll find out soon enough. As soon as you come to where I am. And don't even think about finding help. Or I promise the whole world will know about the scams in your little firm. Your friend Lenny was kind enough to give it all to me on a thumb drive. What a friend's for, huh, Brian? So what say you and I have a little chat? And maybe you'll walk away from your own mess. Where you know? <laughs> Where you and I used to meet after office hours. Room 26. I'm here now. Is this? Don't you know who it is, Brian? But I suppose over the phone my voice would sound a little different. Monica! Not quite who you were expecting, hmm? Your good friend Lenny gave me everything I needed right here in my hand. And you are going to do exactly what I tell you. Unless you want the police to know about your little scams, hmm? No, no, I don't. I didn't think so. I will text you some instructions to go somewhere later. Contact anyone, and your life ends. If you think it can't get any worse than this, you're wrong. And what do I expect to find when I get there? <laughs> Karma, Brian. Karma. Oh, and you might want to hurry home. I just left you something decorative. Hello? No tell bleeding. Anyone in there? Come back later. I'm busy. Hey, who the... Come back later. Yeah, well, uh, I'm afraid it's a bit more complicated than that, mister. We have regulations, and it just so happens I'm on a schedule, and i got to clear up...
I need you to stay at a friend's place just for tonight, while I use your car to settle something. But I don't understand what this is about. I can't explain everything because even I don't have the answers now. But I need you to be safe. That's what's most important now. This is all Nikki's doing, isn't it? No. No, it's much worse. Shelly, I need you to trust me on this. This is really something I have to settle on my own. You're the guy Mike called, aren't you? The private eye. Where are you now? Look, I'll be seeing you real soon. Well, you know anything else about this, Monica? Middle name, my last name. No, I only met her twice. The next thing I know, she's behind all this mess. At first, I thought it was Nikki. Would you call the cops or anybody? How could I? Monica said she would expose me. I had already lost my job because of her. I didn't intend to lose anything more. You got anything to drink in here? You know, maybe a tea or a water or something? You know, you don't look like a private eye. That's kind of the point, ain't it? I mean, just because I am doesn't mean I have to look it. So you've really been following me? As much as possible. And I even saw what happened earlier uh, with Nikki. I was uh, real sorry about her. Look, uh, you say you only just met this Monica. Uh, you haven't known her for long, do you? She wants to see you burn real bad. Chances are, she knows you from way back, way, way back. What have you found so far? Well, not much about her. Just trying to get myself up to speed. You know, things about your job, your car, Nikki, hell, even Lenny. How did you know all about this? Well, information comes my way. More so if you got a hacker friend or two. Uh, you know, Monica sent me a message saying I should go there. Yeah, looks secluded, like it's by a beach or something. Could it be a trap? Nah, not likely. If she wanted you dead, you'd be dead already. She wants you to find something. But what? Only one way to find out. We'll take my car. Something the matter? Yeah. I came here with Monica the other day. Her suggestion? Sort of. I don't know what it is, but there's something about that boathouse. Well, coordinates say it's right there.
Shit. Oof. That's your friend, ain't it? You might want to think twice before you open that. I've seen the look on people's faces when they relit the past. It's like they're stuck in a nightmare. My life is on the line. I need answers. I'm not sure who is she now. Monica? Her real name is Mandy. Mandy Delilah. This boathouse was where I used to take her. It was our favorite spot. We used to be right up there enjoying the view. It was a long time ago. Yeah, let me see that. A death certificate. Mandy's mother, Delia. We had an affair a long time ago. I promised her more than I could give. I didn't know she was dead, so I left. When? After she told me she was pregnant. So you left her mother when she was pregnant with your child? Things got complicated. Death certificate said she died in November 1994. When did you leave the picture? October of that year. I wonder why she's pissed. It's like she's got some kind of toxic obsession. <laughs> I know, but she still has the evidence. Oh, you mean about your little scams? Things you people do for a little extra. It seemed like a good idea at that time. All right, how do you want to do this? I'll try to ring the doorbell while you sneak through the back. She won't be able to see you. Or how about we don't bother? What is this? You still haven't figured it out, have you, you dumb shit? I'm working for Mandy. I'm not even a real PI. You know, I was even in there the other night when you two had your little sleepover. While you were snoring, she gave me your phone to hack. And once I hacked it, I was able to read, listen, or block any incoming call or text message. That's why the real PI never got in touch with you. Now, would you kindly get the fuck out of my car? What are you doing? I don't know any accidents, so you might as well take my gun. It's under my jacket. So you two finally made it. Any updates? No, we're good. He hasn't told anyone. Shelley. Hi, Brian. Hey, everyone.
So we bought it? Every last syllable. Perfect. Let's get out of here. Whoa. He can't get away with this. No, he can't. Not after what he did to you, to me, and so many others. We'll make him pay dearly. It's going to take lots of planning. There can be no mistakes. We'll do it together. But first, you have to leave him. I got a lot of work done earlier. That's actually why I get out of the office for once. In fact, I might just take it easy for the rest of the day. Then let's both call it a day. You wanna go for a ride? You like beaches? Well, I call it reliving the moment to feel alive. It's one of a kind. I mean, don't you have a cherished moment that you like to experience again? Mine would be a cherished time. My childhood. Feeling young and free, time with family, you never forget it. Remember, this is all just for show. What's her story anyway? I've only heard pieces. Apparently Brian's done worse to her than he has to both of us. You got enough photos? Yeah, enough. Let's go then. Believe it or not, I don't like seeing them together either. So, what did I miss? Just in time. Fun. Oh, what have we done? Oh, pretty sure he can afford another. <laughs> Couldn't do it without the both of you. But let me just say, the best is yet to come. to get under your skin. But did you have to kill his cat? It wasn't part of the plan, you know? You needed to feel another sting. The fear of someone breathing down his neck. That's how you ease your way into making someone pay. You said he'd go to jail for his scams and that's it. He will. Later. 
what's left of him. Brian told me what he saw before. And? And you said nothing about killing Nikki. Be there in a half hour. No mistakes. You said so yourself. But Nikki was helping us. And at the end of the day, she was a liability. You know that. Are you still with me? I need you to focus. Stick to our plan. I cannot do this without you. You understand that, don't you? Good. Are you really helping her? Sorry, Brian. Her leaving you and coming back was all part of it. It's always more fun to play a person when you want to get back at them, wouldn't you say? Monica, Mary, please. I'm sorry. I swear, I swear, I had nothing to do. You know, it's a bit too late for any of that. What's left is simply... Payback. How long I've waited for just this moment. Did you have to kill Lenny? He had nothing to do with this. Wait, you killed Lenny? Not Lenny. He was a liability. Had to be done. So what else have you not told me? This for a change of plan. And it's called open surgery. Sorry, I didn't hear you earlier. Is everything all right, miss? Yeah, yeah, no problem. We received a distress signal saying it came from this house. Distress signal? Yes, a little safety feature installed by the owner. Is Brian Fernandez here? Yeah, he's in there somewhere. Well, I can assure you everything's fine. You don't see anything fishy, do you? No, we don't, miss. But it's okay that we see you, Mr. Fernandez. Sure. I'll go get him. Just hang on a sec. You're filling in for Brian. Officers, I don't know what to say. I, I must have hit it by mistake. Um, but I don't know. <laughs> well, you might want to get it checked. Coming all the way out here in the middle of the night just to get a false alarm. It's not a very... Pleasant feeling, I'll tell you that. Understandable, and first thing tomorrow, I'll check it. Is that your car, way back there? The uh, black Suzuki? Oh, you mean the car down there? Way, way down there? Yeah, that's my car. We should get parked right outside instead. And the license plate's from out of town. So what gives? Shirley. Shirley. Sure. Shelly. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything. I mean it. Yeah, you should be. And you got exactly what you deserve. I know how to be, but not like this. Maybe not. There's not much I can do. All right, I guess I'd better come clean. It's my car. I had a bit too much to drink and Brian drove me. He stopped way over there because I just felt like having a walk up to the house. See, she's uh, she's from out of town. We haven't seen each other in a while. Uh... I guess that sort of wraps that up. Oh, 
Sorry for disturbing both of you. Have a good night. Don't forget to get that alarm check, sir. First oh. thing tomorrow. It's funny, it doesn't match the photo. Let's check it when we get back to the station. Listen, you are also a liability. Just like Lenny, Nikki. And once Mandy's done with me, you think she's gonna let you go? Did you not hear what those fuckers said? It's only a matter of time before they realize that this face is not his face. And then they're gonna come back here. You worry too much, you know that? Just like when we were planning this whole thing. They already have my license plate. It's not gonna be long before they find out it's not right. If they find out, the nearest precinct's a long way from here. And if they are to come back, we'll be long gone by then. Good. Let's go now. To shoot him and be done with No. Him. I'm going to savor every moment. Are you serious? That's not what we agreed upon. Hey, calm down, okay? I know you're stressed. Just relax, okay? I thought you were an expert in this. Can you believe this guy? Even Shelly is more calm than you are. What did you do to my beer? Nothing. I didn't do anything. Now you're really letting it get to you. Another liability. Then what am I to you? <laughs> Brian betrays me and now you. Don't you ever compare me to you. Do you hear me? Before you go any further, you might want to think about it very, very carefully. The only fucking reason we are here now is because of him. me you wanted. I cost you paid. Not Shelly, not Nikki. Why did you involve them? Means to an end. <laughs> Quite the mess, huh? But then again, I never was the neat type. You were always very disorganized. And you were always light. But of course, none of that compares to what you did to me. Mindy. I didn't know what to do. I was scared. What happened to your mother? She died, Brian. She died after you left her. Why didn't you just kill me when we were here that night? Oh, experience has taught me that being quick is so unsatisfying. First, I want you to feel your world torn apart. Now that that's done, 
gonna take my sweet time. <laughs> my day is over. When the police come, he, your prints are all over this house. You may kill me, but they will catch you. <laughs> I'm not gonna run, Brian. There's no need. After I'm done with you, what's left of you? They'll find my body here too. One shot to the head. But why? To see you die. Screaming. First, I will remove your manhood. And then, I will rip you open to rip out your intestines. Medi, no. No, Medi. <laughs> Where do you think you're going, Brian? <laughs> so this is how Mandy's mother died. Mm -hmm. Yep, she was in the car accident after you left the picture. She swerved to avoid another car and uh, they then found out who did it. A mystery. Come on, go ahead. Say you told me so. Too many girls, one too many flings. <laughs> You're goddamn right I did. Hi, Brian. Hi, Jasmine. What a surprise. Well, uh, I'll come back tomorrow, eh? Maybe bring you a tequila. Yeah, you better. That's the one medication I'm missing here. <laughs> I'll leave you to it. Thanks. Look at you now. What? You're all better now, aren't you? I've got another three weeks more before they allow me to walk again. I'm glad to hear it. I actually thought you were glad to be rid of me after all that. No, why would you think that? In fact, I was worried. You know, if you'd asked Brian, I would have helped you out. I guess it was my fault. So, uh, you got any plans on what to do next? Actually, I'm thinking about it already. And uh, maybe I'll go into freelancing, start small, my own company, you know? It still sounds like a little bit of work. Yeah, I guess it is. Will you be needing an assistant? Because I am very, very sure I can fit in nicely. Say when I feel this way about you. 